Hey, friend, here's an email I received from Shannon. Shannon writes this, Dear Paul Mack, absolutely love your videos. Something a bit more wholesome than most. Thank you. I have brought my kiddos up on very limited screen time, and I can feel good letting them watch something fun while learning at the same time. I'm proud of you. Very good. Thank you. We built a staunchon for our jersey, Bonnie, after watching your video. While watching the video, I noticed the contraption around the back legs of your beautiful cow and thought, wow, that could be useful. Did you make it yourself? Thanks, Paul Mack. We appreciate you. Well, hey there, Shannon. No, I did not make that contraption myself. It was invented a long time ago, I suppose, by somebody who wanted to keep kicky cows in check. They're called hobbles. It's two sheet metal brackets and they're attached with a chain and that chain is fixed to one of them on one end and then that chain runs through the hole on the other one with a little slot where you can stick the chain in and it'll hold the chain firmly. The hole is oversized so that you can adjust it and you know move them away from each other or closer to each other. Those brackets fit over the back hock of the cow's leg and the cow's leg is shaped just right for these or actually these are made just right for the cow's legs. So you reach in front of the legs, grab the one with a hole in it, put this one on the back hock and then put this one on the hock and then you can adjust that chain so that it's fairly tight. You don't want it to be uncomfortable for the cow. And the cows, you know, need to get used to wearing this thing. And, you know, I wouldn't just put this on any cow that, you know, has never seen one before. You're going to end up with a, <clears throat> a small rodeo on your hands. But I get, as I'm raising calves that I know are going to be milk cows, I get them used to uh, being touched all over, especially their udder, because, you know, that's, that's the business end where you're going to be milking later on. So you want to get them used to all that. And I get them used to having their legs touched because cows are... Cows are goofy about, you know, having their legs touched and they need to be trained early on that, hey, I'm not going to hurt you or anything. And so um, putting those hobbles uh, on a cow it, or a calf is very important to start with to get them used to the sound of the chain and the clanking and everything so they don't freak out. But basically, Shannon, I put those hobbles on my cow every morning I milk. Now, a lot of people don't use hobbles at all. They have very, very... Uh, easy going cows but my purpose for putting the hobbles on my cow is not because they're kicky uh, spe especially later on when they when they get really used to being milked my purpose is in especially in summertime you get a lot of flies and horse flies around and you know one gets on the leg on the other side and I can't see that it's there and they'll start kicking at it or whatever and inadvertently knock my half hours worth of work over the milk and it spills everywhere i just don't like wasted milk so i'll put the hobbles on to kind of keep the movement to a minimum and if i could tell they're getting twitchy or nervous about a fly or something and and the leg starts moving i can go around and you know dispatch the fly get rid of it help them out a little bit with that i got my pair of hobbles uh years ago and let me tell you i'll tell you that story um i was i just built the barn in tennessee and um, I had bought a jersey and, with two calves on her. And the guy told me she, she's a great milk cow. Um, let's see, her name was Daisy, I think. And um, I'm not sure she had ever had anybody put their hands on her, to be honest with you. I think I, I, think I got cheated. But anyway, she was my first cow. And I, I bought a brand new shiny bucket. And then I went out that next morning to milk her and I sat down, uh, her head was in the stanchion. And when I, when I grabbed hold of her, uh, the next thing I remember was I was on my back uh, on the floor of the barn there, holding the bucket that had a big dent in it. She kicked the bucket and me all in one blow. And I never even saw it coming. It was like, you know, cow lightning. I was so frustrated. I mean, she wouldn't even let me hardly touch her she was just kicking I thought, what am I gonna do and so I worried about that all day she, you know you shouldn't worry but you know how it is when when you got a farm problem and you're thinking how am I gonna take care of this so all day I was thinking what am I gonna do what am I gonna do and then I, I don't know if I remembered my grandma uh, Paul Mack's wife nanny we called her 
that she had had a pair of hobbles, and, and somehow those came into my mind. And at the moment, I didn't have um, those hobbles in my collection. And so I went online, um, and I typed it up. I found that Lehman's uh, non-electric catalog back then, anyway, were was selling hobbles, brand new pairs that were made there in Ohio, I suppose. And so I ordered some that very day and had them shipped to me. And I got her used to having those hobbles on and then I could milk her, which she never turned out to be a, a, a good producer at all. But through her, I got my first heifer calf and then she was a good milker. And I think I've got the same bloodline, if you trace it down, from that very first cow there. Anyway, she taught me the um, appropriate need for hobbles, so I've used them ever since. A lot of times I can find them at flea markets occasionally, uh, antique stores or whatever uh, for sale. People you know, just hang them on the wall now for decoration, which most almost nobody knows what they are. They're just, oh, that looks like some old farm thing. And, and it is, but they're hobbles, and you can find them there. Um, and I, I suppose I think there's a few places where you can still get a brand new pair. Really, if you had to, you could make them. It's not that complicated. You just get some rather thick sheet metal. Looks like maybe eighth of an inch. You know, um, that doesn't need to be ten. That's that's too thin. That would bend too easy. And just bend that sheet metal if you have a forge, or maybe you can cold bend it bend that sheet metal to be kind of the shape, drill a rather large hole in it, or cut a hole in it with a torch, and then somehow um, cut that slot in it, that smaller slot in the big hole, so that go to the hardware store, get you, you know, a length of chain about that big. Also, you can, um, if, you, if you're making one, you can take a length of hose, rubber hose, and cut it oh, about that big and slip that hose on that chain before you run it through the hole and put the ring on the end and that way rather than the the chain um, on a cow's leg that hose is a little more comfortable you, you can do that either way but you can make your own pair you know, if you wanted to just look at a picture online and hey figure it out this is america to get a cow used to wearing hobbles i i have what i've done in the past is i took a little piece of sheet metal make sure there's no rough burrs or sharp um, edges on it or anything and I will uh, drill a hole in it and screw it to a rather long stick and I can take that stick while they're in the in the staunch in there with their heads fastened up and I can just put it on that hock and if they get nervous and start kicking at it it doesn't hurt anything because it's on a long stick they can't hurt their feet or anything and so then I'll just put it back when they stop kicking they'll kick again I'll lift it off and then put it back and you just keep going until you desensitize them to that. And then of course, when I go to later to put the hobbles on, I talk to them and it's kind of a tricky thing. Uh, you don't ever want to get your head down close to where a cow can kick. So you, you're very cautious about that. If it's a kicky cow or a new cow and you want to get close because if they do kick that way, they just, they're not delivering a blow to you. If you're far enough away, they can deliver a blow. But if you're close enough, uh, when they start to kick, it just ends up shoving you away. And so you can get those hobbles on her and uh, get her used to it. And it's just part of the normal milking process. Every morning, they're very used to it. So hope that answers your question, Shannon. Hobbles, I recommend them for everybody who has a milk cow. Now, maybe you have a question that you'd like answered. Just leave it in the comment section below. Anything, any kind of question at all, whatever you can think of that's, you know, related to the farm, just leave it in the comment section. I appreciate you watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And remember to share these videos. It helps the channel just a whole lot. I'm Paul Mack, and until next time, we'll talk at you later. Ron Bolton, 6538. I just don't get it. Why are there not millions of subscribers on this channel? It's educational, funny, and at this point in time, very needful. Thank you so much, Paul Mack. You're my hero. Uh, Ron, you sound a lot like my wife, except for the hero part.
Allo Burdorf, 4579. You haven't lived till you have a couple hundred honeybees in your overalls with you. Uh, sure glad the Americanized bees are so calm. I don't know if they're that calm.